Riley Sorrell coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm in Leicester Square and I'm going to be showcasing Heliot Steakhouse right here on Little Newport Street. Stay tuned because at the end of this episode, I'm going to let you know whether to give this place a hit or a miss. Boom. Elliot Steak, gone for this special deal, which is steak, lobster, dessert and champagne, all for, guess what, guess what, 20 pounds, of course, of course we're going to be spending a lot more than that, because uh, again, you know, little extras, so right now we've got the, uh, got the bread, yeah the bread was hot when it came, and it was really really nice, it was served with some, some kind of uh, cream some kind of cream cheese. Like, it's like garlic cream. So the orders are in. It's that time to go to the little boy's room and show you exactly what stay is in. Let's go. Smells relatively fresh, it's relatively clean in this space. Got plenty of space in here. It's a little surprise in the toilet though. Don't want to look down there. Someone forgot to flush. And it seems like the flush doesn't work properly either. Overall, it's a nice space. Time to go back upstairs. Where would actions at? Let's go. Look at that, goodness. Looks good, doesn't it? Same with the, uh, oh, I'm happy. I haven't even tried it yet. This is what happens. I see the food and I get excited and I don't even know it's nice. It was good, these fries season very well. Steak is alright. It doesn't scream glory or anything like that. It's just alright. I think it may have been a bit too well done. So this is the steak that I got. So that that was the what? The NY strip. NY strip and this is the regular fillet. I think this one is better. Mm. But again, not amazing. I think it. I think the peppercorn sauce would do some wonders for that steak. I've tried the peppercorn sauce. And I don't really like it. You don't really like it, really. Mm. Let's try some of this lobster tail. But no, it's hard to get the lobster out. Mm. Very buttery, soft. There isn't a lot of meat in the in the lobster tail. It's no surprise it is the tail. But I don't know. I think I think I actually it's not the best but I think I actually prefer it to the steak. I think I do. Well I'm not a fish person so that's a surprise. <laughs> Okay, I'll take that back. I prefer the steak. <laughs> I'm already getting fed up, guys. There's nothing great. It's just standard steak, standard lobster tail, standard fries. I like the fries, but as a whole, it's pretty standard. I mean, I've been in a few steakhouses in my time. I think what's nice about this area, this um, actual venue, 
is the venue itself. It's, it's a nice, very nice atmosphere. And um, you know, if you're gonna go, if you're gonna come here, it's, it's for the atmosphere. Great ambience. Food is pretty average. At this point, I'm just forcing the food down my throat. That's really good. I'm a big fan of the um, the pastry. Very, very rich, crumbly, buttery. Very, very nice. I've only actually had tea lime pie once in my entire life. You know that dessert company called Goo? In, uh, well, you can get them at Tesco, Sainsbury's, all them other places. Yeah, I've had their key lime pie, and their key lime pie is pretty good, but this trumps all over it. Obviously, it's not fair comparing, you know, a restaurant standard dessert to a supermarket brand, but Goo is quite luxury, it's quite up there. And this beats it, so that's saying a lot. I think this is the best thing on the menu. Better than their steak, better than their lobster, better than their fries. Hell, even better than their champagne. Mm. Hell, it's Steakhouse. Not much to say here, it's pretty much an average place. And despite the name, I definitely wouldn't recommend getting a steak here. I'm gonna give taste a two and a half out of five. This was good, but for the caliber of this establishment, I did expect more. It didn't have that personalized experience. I mean, when you go to a very high end restaurant, you get that sort of hospitality and this is like that. Literally, you will just serve your food and then forgotten about. So on that basis, I'm gonna give customer service a free out of five. This spot, without a doubt, has a very impressive setting. You've got a nice open space that overlooks the casino floor, fine glassware and cutlery, and plenty of bars to choose from. I also like the use of the colors and lighting that gave the dining space a nice, warm, cozy feel that was both intimate and uh, relaxing. So on that basis, I'm gonna give Ambience a five out of five. I don't feel I can make a good call on cleanliness as I didn't get to see much of the restaurant itself. So on this occasion, I'm going to skip giving cleanliness a score. The bill came to a total of just under £60, which the wifey paid for in full. And I was a bit annoyed about that because, uh, well, she did that whilst I was momentarily away from the table. And had I been there, I would have told them to remove the service charge. They did not earn it. It wasn't great value. And I'll actually give a value of one. Um, I wouldn't recommend this place. Um, it's, it's very average. I'm actually even shocked that it's won, it was voted the greatest steak restaurant in London by Booker Table customers. I'm struggling to understand how that's even possible because their steaks are not a great representation of, you know, the, the creme de la creme, you know, the really top notch steaks in London. It really doesn't represent it. So I'm shocked. If you're in Hippodrome Casino, do yourself a favor when you're hungry exit the building, go to Leicester Square or Common Garden which is just a few minutes walk and there's plenty of choices there for you to choose from. Yeah, I would definitely give this place a miss. So that's the end of my review and my rant. <laughs> if you like the video, make sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure you check out my other videos right there. I make videos every week. So, till next time, peace! Wow.